Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Well, let's do it, I think we're due for a random run after uh, that last Eden run. Let's give it a try, let's give it a try, let's give it a try. Zazel, oh, oh, Lazarus, okay, that's all right. I like Lazarus. There's nothing wrong with Lazarus. He can, well, you know what? I'm, I'm still pleased with that decision. Not so pleased with the paralysis pill, but uh, at least we did get something out of that room, and you know, there's really no other character that's as as nice to, to play the sacrifice room with as Lazarus. If you die, you die, but you're probably not gonna die. You start with a decent amount of HP. No other consumables, unfortunately, well, except for the pill, which could be great, but... I wonder, are pills on average good or bad? Like, assuming you don't know what the pill is, an unknown pill, there's a certain number of effects that are basically neutral, a certain number of effects that are basically bad, and a certain number of effects that are basically good. I wonder if the odds are that it would be good or bad. If we're gonna have to backtrack, if the odds are better, I should say. If we're gonna have to backtrack, I figure we might as well uh, backtrack now instead of backtracking later, because if we backtrack now, we actually get the advantage of having whatever the item room is for our boss fight. Oh man, come on, like 10 bombs? Similar, <laughs> I can't really complain. Uh, that's gonna make things a little easier on us here. Hopefully we'll pick up a uh, Tinted Rock, or sorry, a Spirit Heart, which we did. So my thinking is that we will probably... Man, shitty secret room locations, huh? We'll probably uh, cool it here for just a second, but then we might kill ourselves, wow, in order to pick up uh, the uh, damage bonus. Lots of pills in there. Before we take those, let's head on down to what is either a crawl space or a black market here. It is a crawl space for Butterbean. Get hype. The worst item in the game now belongs to us. At least it can't show up again, as far as I'm aware. What great luck. Then transition into such terrible luck. Tears up. Bad gas. Health up. Okay. We should not take the second health up pill. We can use this uh, in order to get the damage bonus and have a lot of HP when we actually leave, especially if we get HP from this boss fight right here. So it's the Duke of Flies, then we drop like a bad gas pill right in his bitch ass. Pusher, get away from me! Back off! Get your own sandwich! I don't really care if I die uh, during the fight, it doesn't matter to me at all. And we did get HP, so what we will do is take this HP upgrade pill with us. And this is a fantastic situation to find ourselves in right off the bat. It's a shame that we couldn't use that other full, like, that other health up pill now, but at the same time. We'll have 3 HP and a Spirit Heart anyway when we leave this floor, plus 1.2 times our existing damage. That's awesome. Plus we'll even have two extra bombs left over. Not sure what we're gonna do with them, but we'll, we'll have them. Alright, so die, but don't get killed when you come back. There you go. Take that. We will... Mm, we could get all of our HP back if we want to, but I can't necessarily guarantee it. This is as close to ideal of a first floor Lazarus run as you can actually have. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm assuming we won't need that HP. And there's no other pills for us. We already used our bad gas pill. So let's head down to the next floor and get ourselves a deal with the devil, shall we? A deal with the devil, or multiple deals with the devil that we could actually take. As a result of our items here. Now we need some keys in order to make this as good as it can possibly be. And I don't really want to go to that curse room right away. A little bit, uh, a little bit too risky for me there. Well, let me put it this way. There's no reason for us not to use a bomb to access uh, a bomb. We could possibly find the black market as a result of that. So we'll keep putting these down here for now. We got two keys left. We're going to trade one in order to get a two of clubs card. I, I think this is good. We traded one key and a bomb for at least two bombs. But it could be as much as, you know, 100 bombs. My assumption was that we wouldn't have enough money. Well, it could be 50 bombs, I guess. But um, we wouldn't have enough money to make the shop worthwhile. That nickel puts things a little bit uh, in question with respect to that. But we could always just get another key anyway. Or use our two of uh, clubs card to bomb our way into the shop if we are lucky enough to kind of divine where it is. Which is probably not too likely. But anyway, it, everything's a trade-off, man. Just because something doesn't turn out optimally, that doesn't mean it wasn't worth doing in the first place. It's like a trade-off and, uh, and a dice roll, basically. Now that we have two keys, if we find our shop, we're pretty much set, I think. I don't see any tinted rocks. We could always bomb our donation machine twice to pick up enough money to buy whatever we want. And we would really like a candle item. Wouldn't bind me. Or wouldn't bind me? Wouldn't mind that. Wouldn't mind buying that, I think is where my, my brain got confused there. And it seems to me you lived your life mostly looking for the blue candle. Doesn't really work. The blue candle in the wind. There's some way to work that, but 
I don't know if I'm comfortable going that deep in on it. Uh, hive Mind. I don't necessarily think Hive Mind is worth it, but I'm gonna go for it anyway because it can be worth it, and we've already kind of made up our mind here. Please give me at least two cents in return. <laughs> it's kind of close. I don't. Th that's not our HP upgrade. Or no, wait, maybe that. What color was HP up? Might have been bad gas, but I'm not totally sure. Uh, we still got two keys left. We got Hive Mind just in case we manage to pick up, you know, like a Guppy's Head or something like that. I think it's a worthwhile item to have. And of course, immediately after using two bombs for a somewhat uh, innocent purpose, we find that there is a Tinted Rock right here. I would have much preferred to have used that. Or used it for that, I should say. But, you know, life goes on. Mostly just to, ooh, careful. Mostly just killing time until we manage to find our, our deal with the devil on this floor. Don't throw it away, also, by being an idiot. Because if you uh, lose your deal with the devil on this floor, it might take forever for you to get back to the point where you actually start, you know, starting to crest out of the game's shadow. But it depends what items we get as well. If we get some sweet items, then I can't really complain. Daddy Long Legs is a sweet item. I think it qualifies. Now, even if we're not doing very much damage, we can rely on Daddy Long Legs to do a decent amount itself. Uh, I mean, there, there's value to that room, but I'm not going to sit there and shoot all the poops because I'm a little lazy about it. Three men and a little lazy. The Your Mother story. Good. He walked into that, which means he's going to be pretty easy to kill here. And we should be fine. Even if we fight the, the haunt, Daddy Long Legs is a huge help for us. Pin is like... I wouldn't necessarily say a joke, but if Daddy Longlegs comes down on it twice, that's pretty much all of its HP gone. Especially if it comes down on it, yeah, in a situation like that where it can hit it kind of multiple times. Okay, caffeine pill. HP up? No. But... <laughs> I've got to be a little smarter about this. We're going to take this. Okay, we're definitely not taking anything else. Uh, I'm gonna actually take this opportunity to come back here. We're gonna shoot a bunch of poop because I would really like to get enough money to buy a spirit heart. That would make me feel a lot better about our situation. We've gone through a lot of HP. I know there's a room full of money. I really wanted to see like two hearts out of there. Sorry, two pennies out of this one. But sure, we'll we'll do the dirty here. We'll take our sweet ass time to make this happen. The good news is we can shoot multiple poops at the same time. The bad news is, oh, there we go. Okay, well I'm glad we went through this. This should allow us to pretty easily buy the poop and maybe something else along uh, with it. Now we would be silly not to shoot all the poop, but I don't know what else we're going to want along with it. Oh my god, you gave me a spirit heart as well. You are too kind. Oh my god, a dime that's top of the line? Kind of a surprise pickup. Well, we should definitely buy a spirit heart and we should probably buy the bomb as well. Shop is down this way, I remember now. Shouldn't have killed those poops, but how could I have known? And that'll still leave us with a decent amount of money, actually. Eight cents. For peace of mind, I want to buy this pill. It's half price anyway. Hey! Well, three cents for a pretty fly is a great deal. All of a sudden, everything's starting to look okay here. And we'll actually come to our curse room because we've got the ability to fly. So we'll take half damage from it. And I'm hopeful that it'll pay out with something. Hey, there we go. So we've gained a spirit heart and a half plus. In a hindsight... Probably should have used that on the Tinted Rock, huh? But hey, here we are. We, we checked it out. We got enough Spirit Hearts. Where the F is our boss room? I always forget. Are these Curses of the Losts? Good. Down to the next floor. Very happy with this. The ability to fly is awesome. We haven't really improved ourselves dramatically uh, on an offensive level, but that's okay. I think I'm going to hold off on that uh, Mob Trap room until we see if we get a little tougher. Because right now... I'm not loving our damage. There's a crawl space or maybe a black market though. Please be better than the butter bean. That's all I ask. Shoop the whoop. We're we're getting marginally better than the butter bean boys. <laughs> Slowly but surely improving ourselves. You know, you start with the butter bean. You, you start with nothing. You trade it for the butter bean. Then you trade uh, the butter bean for shoop the whoop, and then you trade shoop the whoop for lemon mishap, and then you trade lemon mishap for guppy's head. All of a sudden, you're you're sitting pretty. Come on, Daddy Long Legs, work with me here. Shoop the whoop actually isn't that bad. If we if we get a uh, if we get a nine volt, it's pretty much just like a really shitty brimstone. But hey, all right, we're sorted. This is a one run. Mom's knife. 
Don't even bullshit me about, oh, I can't believe you took Mom's Knife. You can't believe I took Mom's Knife on a Lazarus run where we have no HP? We're sticking with Mom's Knife. If we become Guppy, I'm gonna throw a Mom's Knife and Guppy party, and you're not invited because you're a freaking naysayer. How do you feel about that? It's gonna be open bar. Well, not for everything, you know, but for, like, bottom shelf liquor. Okay, Demon Baby. And, uh, Satanic Bible. Absolutely, we will fill our coffers with this Satanic Bible over here. Thank you, Shoot the Whoop, for uh, at least giving me a little bit of uh, commentary impetus for a moment there. Still got a lot of stuff to look forward to on this floor here. We will probably go to our mob trap room now, is my guess. I think we're strong enough now to deal with it if I had to, if I had to make an executive decision. Oh man, really? No, uh, no bombs here? I would actually come back if we got a bomb and blow up that stone chest, and I mean that sincerely. That, that is if I remember. Don't assume that if I don't do it that I was lying. Rather, I just may have forgotten. You know, never assume... It's a, This is an idiom I really believe in. Never uh, attribute to malice that, that which can be equally explained by ignorance. You know, a lot of people get mad think people are assholes. When really they're just, you know, forgetful or maybe they have different concerns than you have, you know. Someone forgets about, like, a lunch meeting you had or something like that. doesn't make them a dick or inconsiderate necessarily. Maybe they just had uh, some other stuff going on in their life that they were more concerned about. You should never, uh, never internalize that stuff too hard, is my opinion on things. And you might say, well, that's very fitting for you because you forget things all the time. But actually, I'm exceptionally uh, mindful and exceptionally punctual. I am rarely late of my own volition. And that's because we have, uh, like, you know, it's two different kinds of people in the world here. People who are, like, punctual to a fault, and people who are late to a fault. And I don't know if there's anybody that's like, I'm always on time. If somebody says they're always, like, right on time, never early, never late, that person is full of shit. Alright? Yeah, I know there's a couple of you in the comments being like, yeah, you're right, but but really, I am always on time. No, you're, you're full of shit. You're as bad as the rest of them. But, uh, I, I read online once that, like, the difference between people who, uh are punctual or early and people who are not punctual or habitually late is that people who are habitually late they always assume that whatever they're gonna do whatever they need to do like let's say they're going out to a restaurant or something like that they need to be there by eight they always assume that showering and getting ready for it will take the least amount of time that it could possibly take uh, I'm gonna bomb for BFF I fucking suck at making sure that my uh, <laughs> making sure that my donation machine is in good health but whatever um, so, you know, they might they might say, well, what, what, oh, shit, what's the problem? It's, uh, you know, 7.45, it takes five minutes on the best day of traffic to get to the restaurant, and it takes, uh, you know, two minutes for me to shower, I'll be there eight minutes early. Whereas, and obviously there's, you know, some inherent falsity in that thinking, but the opposite is just as bad, man, and I'm on the opposite. If I have to be at a restaurant by eight, in my head, I'm like, okay, on the worst day possible, traffic could take me an hour, so I'm gonna leave at like 6.55 and then I always end up being places like a half hour early and if you match up with someone who's at the places a half hour late nobody's happy as a result of it of course you know I, I, I could change that myself I just prefer to be early like it makes me less anxious to be there early I was always just you know bullshit on my phone or something like that in the meantime but I think you know that's once I understood that I, I got a little bit less annoyed with the, with people who are habitually late because I was like you know what that makes sense it's just a it's a cognitive thing man and it's stressful the other way, you know? Like, I'm always being like, we gotta get out of the house, like, way earlier than we need to. So don't, you know, I'm, I'm someone who is habitually early, but don't get, like, a sense of smug superiority over being early. It doesn't necessarily make you, you know, better at doing things. You're just wasting your own time instead of wasting somebody else's, which admittedly is more courteous, but I don't think any, you know, lack of punctuality is made up of, uh, is a result of malice, let's put it that way. Maybe for some people. Anyway. That being said, if you are habitually late, come on, dog. You know, have some respect for our time. But I hate saying that, because sometimes, you you know, you're late and you gotta... You gotta actually use an excuse that is real, you know? Like, maybe you actually did get sick that, sm that morning or something like that. That's more thing. It's more than a feeling. Does Kraft use that for its graham cracker ads yet? Because if not, they should. When I see that marshmallow melts, I begin drooling. It's more than a feeling. When that campfire crackles away, I'll see that campfire crackle away. That was more than a feeling. It took a little while for the tune to arrive, but you get the idea. It was just assuming that it would take as little time as it's ever taken ever. Like when I plan for things, I'm like, okay. 
Shower, that's a half hour right there. Consistently, my showers probably take about 10 minutes, but I budget a half hour of time for it just to make sure. Just to make sure, I don't know, I'm not, this is not Ryan's like time-saving tips or anything, it's more like Ryan's, you know, time-wasting tips. It might, it's my secret to being punctual. If you want to be punctual, be okay with wasting your own time, because it's gonna happen. For now, though, we're exploring the entirety of this floor. I am open to, ooh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna stick with Satanic Bible, I could use a win. Uh, I'm open to the idea of um, boss rush. Like, actually doing boss rush, not just stealing the item, but it'll have to not be a curse of bullshits. We also should go back to our shop. But let's see if we snag a deal with the devil before we go back. We have one guppy item. Is this correct? I think this is correct. I love uh, Petrified Poop, but we're already kind of past the point where it's going to be as useful as it can be because poop's not going to be as common lately. Did you know, someone told me, poops in boss rooms cannot drop pennies. I don't know if that's true. That's just what I was told. Don't shoot the messenger. It was, you know, you, you can shoot my messenger, baby. Maybe I should have taken that. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I'm relatively pleased with it regardless. Tears up. HP up. Tears up. Health up. Health up for your life. I don't know. That was like get up, stand up, but then it became the Transformers theme song. Get up, stand up. Robots in disguise. It doesn't really... Doesn't really work as well as I hoped that it would. Oh, it's greed. It's got to be the Steam sale, of course. It's nice, you know. We can buy a lot of cheap shit from our shop for the rest of the game. I don't dislike it. Okay. Amnesia. One of the better Radiohead albums, in my opinion. But uh, it's not really going to help us out all that much right now. I think we're going the wrong direction. I know it's Amnesiac. I know it's Amnesiac, okay. I know it's no Kid A. I'm not going to pick up that HP because I, I don't want to. Is that a good enough reason? I would rather have the opportunity to get rid of it in the future. Man, we are fast here. Lover's card, probably better for us. Like, I'd rather, if we get Horror Babylon, I'd rather just have it useful right away. It's always easier to get HP. Well, this is funny because I've died recently, but it's usually easier to deliberately get HP than it is to deliberately uh, lose HP. You need a more kind of minute set of circumstances to make the latter happen. So for boss rush, we are a little bit slow right now, largely because of that backtracking to fight greed. I'm not pissed off about it though, because we uh, we should still be going pretty quickly here. Like we should be able to make up roughly a minute as time goes on here. It would help if I didn't spend so much time trying to pick up the fucking amnesia pill. If I'd known it was amnesia, I wouldn't have picked it up. We will do this. Guppy items, guppy items, really? Well, we have a hive mind, so I would expect that this will do a decent amount of damage. Like, our spiders here will help us speed things along, but... Disappointed not that we didn't get a guppy item, but no spirit hearts? Like, that's just... That's just painful, man. Just a bunch of bombs and spiders. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it could be better. I probably overrate Liberty Cap. I'm just thinking about it, I'm like, you know, this, this item might not be all that in a bag of potato chips. Or is it? Wow, big miss there. That's okay, I wanna fight this mini boss. Gluttony fight super easy. Bloody penny, ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not convinced yet. I don't wanna fuck up my, my HP at the back end here, but I would like some more fuel for a deal with the devil, and that's what, you know, pretty much precisely this is, is fuel for a deal with the devil. Let's come back here and open this. This is probably what's killing me time-wise here. We're coming close to the, the special rooms. Another battery. Uh, we, we don't need to charge on it yet. We might as well hold up. I think I'm going to blow this up, see if we can get uh, some extra cards. That could be a Joker card. I could also like be your hero, baby. If you're interested, I could uh, kiss away the pain. That's an amnesia pill. Uh, and here we go. No, we don't. I actually would prefer Satanic Bible in our current situation. I was really excited for a second, but it's not actually that necessary. Reroll all that shit on the ground. Bad trip pill. Wow, lovely. Smart idea. Um, and our item room, and then we can go. And we're going to be just a little bit behind schedule here. I don't think I'm going to take the HP, but I will regret it. I'll regret it if we uh, if we have two deals with the devil and I can't take them. Like, There's no point to taking Book of Shadows with us here. Not that I can see, at least, but 
You might disagree. Well, now there's a point to taking the battery back there, but financially speaking, we're already doing so well. So I don't think it really matters all that much. Do we know this? Paralysis? We did know it. I shouldn't have taken it. We'll spend a little money that we didn't need to spend. Feels good sometimes. And we're going to get a cube of meat whether I wanted to get one or not. <laughs> That's okay. Cube of meat or ball of bandage. Same, same shit, in my opinion. And there was only one deal in here anyway, and it cost spirit art, so I'm not that mad about it. All right, before we go down, we're we're slow, man. We're going to be like two minutes slow. Uh, probably about a minute and a half slow. Could still happen. Could still happen. I thought there was a battery on this room. I wouldn't mind if Book of Shadows showed up a little bit later. You know, I'm just going to go. I know there's a battery available. I don't care. I want to have at least the opportunity to get to Boss Rush. You know, kind of hanging over our head, keeping me moving here. It's a borderline unlosable run, so I'm not that concerned about it. I am going to come here for the hopes of the red chest being more useful than they always are. Extra money does put us in good shop territory. That was a bad shot of uh, Mom's Knife. I wish you could, like, you could take some of the charge away from Mom's Knife when you charge it up too much. Because I was like, no, no, that's we don't need that. That's a little too high. There's another uh, library up here. Without a D6, we don't really benefit from it that much, but it's okay. I will come down to our curse room quickly. I think we can do this whole floor in the amount of time that we've allotted. We might not be able to farm up uh, too much on an arcade or anything like that, but people have been messaging me, telling me, you know, hey, don't fuck around with the arcade so much. It's annoying. So, you know, there you go. Maybe we'll stop fucking around with the arcade. We'll go to Boss Rush instead. Worst of both worlds. 1814. It's going to have to be pretty fast here. That is my, my favorite year of the War of 1812, though. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yeah, just waste a key. That's just like a good Samaritan key. You just throw that down there just in case. Charm shots. Oh, sorry. Uh, the mascara is charm shots. Fear shots. I could take them or leave them. We will take our spirit heart and then we'll pack a full charge to go here. What did we take? Oh, we took demon baby? No, we took contract from below from our last situation. That's all right. Hopefully that ends up giving us the consumables that we need here. Oh, I don't have any bombs. I tried to blow up that tinted rock and then, you know, realized a little bit too late that I'm an idiot. We got tons of time here. This is way faster than I anticipated being able to do this. So we should, if possible, come back this way. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. It does beat the lover's card, I think. It's right here. Come on, small rock. I worked for it. Ah, uh, it's okay. We tried. And what was this? Oh, it was Mom's Pearl. Yeah, we'll take that instead. Wheel of Fortune, I think, is better for us, like I said. That was really, really good. And this is already over. So we can do Boss Rush if we want to. No deal with the devil. A little annoying. Um, I'll do it, but, like, honestly, I don't think I would normally... Like, under normal circumstances, I don't think I would. I think Dark Bum is great, but I don't think we need it to make this run happen. So what's the point? The good news is, we probably won't lose much HP, if any HP, on this uh, boss rush. Because we have Dark Bum with us. So if there's ever, like, Red Hearts, we'll uh, just convert them as best as we can. There's another Spirit Heart drop already, anyway. Plus, permanent Polaroid invincibility, of course. Good. Good. At this point, like, I'm not even doing it just for Dark Bum. I guess you should never do it just for the one item. But uh, I'm doing it because we have the opportunity to... Uh, Pick up, uh, pick up, uh, pick up another item at the end. Which I'm hoping is going to be maybe Polyphemus. Maybe Magic Mushroom. I'll take a variety of different things. The only thing I don't want is HP. Fear Shot, you know, I like you. You do some weird shit sometimes. Thank you, Dark Bum. I appreciate the Spirit Heart. Seriously? Like, how am I not landing a shot? Because of the freaking knockback from Demon Baby making it impossible to hit you. Okay, good chain reaction. It was electric, electric, so frantically hectic. And the band started leaving because everybody was grieving. Oh, yeah. The man at the back said, everyone attack because he's in into a boss room blitz. And the girl in the corner said, oh, I'm going to know because it's going to do the boss rush blitz. Boss rush blitz. Kind of more difficult to pronounce than I expected it would be. I should not be in the middle for this. I think this is pinned. Ah, no, it's not. It's Monstro 2. Which is actually, like, equally annoying. Actually, probably substantially more annoying. Now that I think about it. Alright, there you go. 
Here's the secret. If you're wondering, like, if you're bad with mom's knife and you're wondering why everyone thinks it's good, stop throwing it like a freaking, like a thrown, throwing knife or something like that. What you want to do is against stationary enemies, which is not a good example of right here, but you want to try to have mom's knife spend as much time as possible in the damage zone for an enemy. Like, you want to, you want it to peak in kind of like the enemy's sweet spot, like their center, and then, um, draw back from that point on so they get hit by like the maximum amount of time. Like for an enemy like Bloat, it's actually a little easier to fight with Mom's Knife than almost any other uh, combination of items. We already killed the... Oh, I think the Bloat ac accidentally killed the, the heart from this. Similarly for these enemies, it's a little bit more of a risk, but you can still like get in there pretty deep and just do that. I mean, I don't mind running into them at this point because we actually we have an HP surplus, so... Oh, we fucked up our permanent Polaroid invincibility. I was like, okay, I, I'll just walk into them with my permanent Polaroid invincibility and it'll all be fine, right, guys? <laughs> oh, no. No! Oh, good good miss and a half right there. What are you doing? Stop spawning bombs right in your own face. It's bad for your health, you ding-dong. Just please stop. There we go. Got something going on. This is only our second to last wave, but apparently it's the... Last wave in terms of annoyance. I burned the shit out of you, Ward. Did you hear my pejorative just then? Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. Simplified my life much more than I would have expected. And we get Dead Bird! What could be greater than Dead Bird? I'm still happy we did it. Dark Bum makes it like nearly impossible that we lose. But it, we were probably already there. That's okay, though. I'm thinking we probably just won't use Satanic Bible yet. We'll store up a charge until we get uh, the full benefit out of it. This floor is actually very important. If we can get a deal with the devil here and get permanent Polaroid invincibility forever, everything is solved for us. There are, there are no problems. This is the wrong way to go. Very disappointed to hear that. I'm sure you're not surprised. In fact, I bet this is the wrong way to go as well. And I said that before we came in. You can roll back the tape and check it if you want. I'm pretty sure we have to go all the way back around to the left here and get around our curse room. I There's no excuse not to get the keys. I can leave the money behind and feel self-righteous about it, but the keys would just make me lazy and stupid. Good. No small rocks still, but I'll take that. I know that uh, I was talking about waiting until it's maximally efficient, but it doesn't really matter. Come on, red chest. I know that it's super unlikely now, but give me a red chest here. All right. That's okay. It happens. It happens. I'm not salty about it. I'm just disappointed. Two golden keys is a little overkill, but... You know, it's... It might be substantially worse than just getting one standard key, but... That's okay. I don't see any tinted rock there. Hopefully we'll have a boss where I can demonstrate the knife thing. Because if nothing else, at least on this run, it could be like a little bit of a learning tool. But I'm assuming most of the people watching this, they probably got a little bit of familiarity with Mom's Knife. But, you know, I watch other uh, Isaac YouTubers sometimes. And some of them, I'm not going to name names, man, this, <laughs> but uh, I see them using Mom's Knife. And they're just kind of like throwing it in, you know, Doug Flutie in, the, in a bowl game style, like all the way down the map. Nah, dude, you got to do like a targeted knife, if you can. It takes a little practice, but do like a targeted knife. It spends as much time in the enemy's sweet spot as possible. You can kill them, like, 1.5 times as fast. Twice as quickly was probably a better way to put that. Anyway. No deal with the devil. Squeezy is pretty okay. Uh, down to the next floor, I guess. I mean, again, this, this run is pretty much set up, but... Could go bad. Let's see what we got in here. It's another uh, library, I thought. Well, we don't have to spend one extra key, at least. Bob's Rotten Head. Oh, sweet. What a great item. Happy to have it at this uh, juncture. Huge help. If we didn't get... Um, if we didn't get... Uh, Satanic Bible, we probably would have gone with Bob's Rotten Head because we would have still been stuck with the fucking... Uh, Shoop the Whoop. You know what? I would actually reroll this whole run right now. I see that there's a dice room over there. I like this run. I'm in love with the damage. I think that's good. We, we traded a blue heart for a black heart. Uh, I'm in love with the damage, but I wouldn't mind, man. We could get something crazier. Mom's knife runs, you know, I'm not going to say they're a dime a dozen, but they happen fairly frequently. 
I mean, nothing is really like a dime a dozen anymore. Yeah, you try to name name one thing that's like a dime a dozen, and don't be a smartass. Grains of sand. Okay, you know, you got it. Molecules of carbon. You know, no, I mean like something you could buy from a store, like a normal person. All right, so we got triple shot, rubber cement, big fan, Robo baby, Lord of the Flies. Is this better? Shit, dude, I don't know. A pretty fast rate of fire. I think we have Cricket's body as well. Rubber cement Cricket's body or rubber cement parasite. Either way, it's pretty good. And um, are those flies from Mulligan or are they from Lord of the Flies? It's actually a pretty important question. I can't tell if we're spawning more, but I think we're spawning more. So I'm going to assume that we have the Mulligan. I actually like this run more than our mom's knife run. We don't have Dark Bum anymore, but we have the Relic apparently. Based on what just spawned right there. Let's crack this open. We also have 99 bombs now. Still a good amount of keys. Maybe a better tarot card here? Like a Joker? Well, I don't want a Joker. Ah, I'd probably take a Joker card. Uh, I think oh, a rune! A Yara rune, in fact! Wow, lucky me! And we've already fought Sloth. Okay, this, is, this has turned out fantastically as far as I'm concerned. Admittedly... I was pretty excited about the opportunity to use that Emperor card right away, but we'll be less lazy. We have, we don't have compass, but how did we get uh, how did we get to see where the boss room is? It's not just by accessing our secret room, surely. I don't know. That's weird. I think our damage is like is pretty damn good. Time will tell, but this might actually not only be more fun, but also be stronger than what our last run was. So I thought we'd get in there uh, while we had the opportunity with Big Fan, and then we'll wait until the next rotation, or maybe there won't even be a next rotation. We'll just head up to the next floor immediately. We have, oh, Liberty Cat probably gave us the compass effect, now that I think about it. Yeah, that seems likely. Curse of the Unknown, um, it's actually pretty known we have full HP. That makes it very easy. Not smart damage on my part. But the only thing dumber would be getting hit twice. Which, thankfully, I did not do. I actually, I think we don't want raw liver, sadly enough. I also think we don't want to be in this room, but for some reason I decided to open up that stone chest, so here we are, unfortunately. But really easy fights here. I don't know why I feel like I'm not doing very much damage when I'm actually, like... Maybe it's my tears aren't that potent, but, like, if I look up at the health bar, the enemies are actually getting crapped on by the flies. But actually, we're not generating flies anymore unless they were immediately getting killed by the enemy. Hmm, we're probably better off with this. We have a lot of keys as is. Um, yeah, so we must have just had a bunch of leftover, like, blue flies. Oh, maybe not. We just spawned one. I don't know. I mean, we could just check, but where's the fun in that, right? It's better to try to suss it out as you go. I can't believe... I thought... Oh, he was charmed. All right. I was like, if he has fear, he should not do that. We must have a spider baby as well. We just generated a spider when we got hit. That's my hunch anyway. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Yo, dog, when your car is so loud, it actually vibrates my desk. I think you should... Fuck off. Or maybe just take it into the shop. Like, I always assume... That the cars are designed to be loud in order to be, uh... You know... Hey, look at how big my balls are, lady! Come hop on this thing! I got a huge muffler, so my cock must be awesome! You know, but I think maybe it's just, you know... That might just be an old car, and I'm... I'm attributing malice where there should just be ignorance or, you know, laziness at least. And I can respect laziness more than most, I think. Well, I'll tell you what. If you're not going to pay out yet, or even if you are, we'll just come back here and use our death card right away. Yeah, we're generating a fly army for sure. Alright, so we'll take Yera. We'll take the Black Bain. That's not what we want at all. That's not what anybody wants. <laughs> Broken Magnet. Ooh, yeah, what do you want for your birthday, Timmy? Oh, can I have a broken magnet that works some of the time? Some of the time it has one of the worst effects, one of the worst passive effects in the game? Sure. All right. Well, at least we're going to save money on it this year. Sometimes kids ask for weird gifts, right? They'll be like, you know, I want a jar of mustard for my birthday. All right. Easy on us, I guess. All right. Guppy Dream is now dead. Come on. I was going to say, it has to be the boss room at this point. Rubber cement is going to tear your ass up in that little fuck corridor right there. Alright, what's my plan? 
basically stand super close and use big fan and attack fly to do like some real shit here. It's working out pretty well so far. There we go. Now we have nothing to worry about except for the fact that I just took incredibly dumb damage, but if you ignore that, we're in an amazing position. We must we must have like Celtic Cross or something going on. Celtic Cross or uh, Cancer for this sweet ass invincibility boost that we just picked up right there. That was awesome. Okay, I'm ready for the next floor. It's like a hot chip song. All right. No curses. I like to see that. Bad? Pretty bad? Pretty good, but not for us. Pretty bad? Oh, not for us. Uh, not for us. Pretty good. Amazing. All right. So chocolate milk, triple shot, cricket's body, Ipecac. Scares the shit out of me. I love it. All right. We're not going to take all this stuff just yet, just in case we get a per throw. But we're going to take all the stuff that's immediately useful. Yeah, I like it. Look, we're a danger to ourselves. <laughs> but at the same time, I love the effects that we've got going on here. This is cool. And thank God we have the Cancer Trinket. We definitely need to be firing these like incredibly potent shots that are as deadly to us as they are to the enemies as fast as possible. With our Relic and with, you know, the just sheer frequency of uh, Spirit Art drops, we probably shouldn't be at that much of a risk, actually, so... I'm, uh, I'm pretty unconcerned about the way things are going to go here. I also think we have the nice kind of luxury of pretty much firing wherever we want on the map and still hitting everything. Especially on, like, these tiny rooms, there's no chance. Alright, this is where we want a key beggar. We have rubber cement on this one as well, I think. Or, we definitely do, I just... I internalized it again. One-shotting Monstro 2 is pretty solid, I gotta say. It's a nice little visual effect as well. Now all we need is Tammy's head. It could happen. Oh man, when it gets the uh, the teeth in on it as well, that's so good. I can't even imagine how much damage those shots are doing. This is like, if you had Spoonbender and Tammy's head, this might be some of the most damage you can do. Sincerely. Hanged man. We can already fly because our, we are a winged man. What do you think about this? Flatworm? Yeah, it looks crazy, so I'm going to go with it. Please. Thank you. All right, second secret room key beggar. Stranger things have probably happened. I don't even think that's possible. Oh, bud. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the O's never end. Ah, shit. Alrighty then. Not quite enough to kill in one hit unless we have a fully charged shot, but let's let's get this show on the road. It is over already. That is crazy and ridiculous. I loved it. I think we might have like Cricket's Body and Parasite, but anyway, or Sad Bombs maybe, but thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.